Hello! Today I will talk briefly about the Yang Ming. Yang Ming is the most interior of the Yang channels. On chapter 30 of the Huang Din Neijing, he mentions the Yang Ming channel traverses a great deal of the major musculature in the body. Its channel contains an abundance of qi and blood. Yang Ming works with Tai Yin to generate postnatal qi. He prepares the food and liquids to be transformed or excreted. Yang Ming's nature is to have a tendency to excess, heat, and dryness. Yang Ming benefits from Tai Yin's dampness, and Tai Yin will benefit from Yang Ming's dryness to balance each other. We have the leg Yang Ming, the stomach channel, and the arm Yang Ming, the large intestine channel. The stomach channel has 45 acupuncture points, and it's the only Yang channel that travels on the anterior abdominal area of the body, reinforcing the idea of nourishment and close relationship to Tai Yin. It is a very versatile channel, capable of treating imbalances on the head, digestion, emotions, febrile diseases, and paralysis. On the stomach channel, it is located one of the most used acupuncture points in clinical practice, stomach 36. Emotionally, the stomach processes undigestive emotions. The large intestine channel, it has 20 acupuncture points. It travels from the radial side of the index finger to the nose. It is the channel of choice to treat imbalances on the face, throat, and due to its young mean nature, it is very effective to treat heat. On the large intestine channel is located a well-known and used acupuncture point, large intestine 4. Emotionally, the large intestine will keep healthy emotions and let, it, and let go of unnecessary ones. The relationships mostly used in clinical practice are Yang Ming and Tai Yin, as well as Yang Ming and Zhu Yin. That's it for Yang Ming. If you like the video, click on thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Channel based acupuncture.